What's going on, you guys? It is your boy, the American F1 fan, Eric Ringel here, and we've had breaking news this morning. Uh, if you guys watched Free Practice 1 from the Australian Grand Prix, you will have seen that Alexander Albon uh, had a crash, um, and he wasn't able to get out for Free Practice 2. But then Williams had released the following statement, and I'm going to put all the statements up on the screen uh, for you to read right now. So there you have it. Logan Sargent is out of the Australian Grand Prix this weekend, and Alexander Albon will be taking over his car. And it's this is such a hard one to to you know to judge. On the one hand, you know you understand where the Williams team is coming from. You you know what you've got in Alexander Albon. Um, the talent that he brings uh, to to Williams, um, and quite frankly, Logan Sargent hasn't you know been able to live up to the 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 talent that he needs to have to be able to put Williams in a position to score points. So you know, as a as a fan looking at it from that perspective, it this makes sense. We understand why. Uh, you know, to a certain extent why Albon's, you know, getting the seat. But I think you also have to look at it from a lot of other perspectives, which is, you know, we've just literally not allowed Andretti Global into Formula One because they supposedly didn't bring value to the championship. And you sit there and go, well, wait a minute, what is Williams bringing if... They can't even, you know, if they don't even have a third chassis, you know, at a race weekend and, you know, they're literally piecing cars together. Like, it, it, it makes fans wonder again why Andretti wasn't allowed into Formula One. You know, then you look at it that Logan Sargent's not the one who made the mistake. Alexander Albon made the same mistake this year that he made last year that cost him, you know, potential points last year in Australia. And why should Logan Sargent be punished for a mistake that Alex Albon made? And I, I look at it from Logan's point of view and, and sit there and go, uh, wait, I'm being, you know, seated for no fault of my own. I wasn't the one who made the mistake. I wasn't the one who crashed and... I'm the one being, you can really look at it as being punished for basically making, you know, no mistakes. And you look at it and go, yeah, that's, that's really not fair to Logan. You know, you guys, you know, have claimed in the off season that Logan has made this huge step forward and, you know, Bahrain wasn't his fault. It was the, you know, the new steering wheel that Williams has presented the team and, you know, yeah, Saudi Arabia, he wasn't anywhere, and Alex was, you know, on the fringes of fighting for points, but, you know, we're two races into the new season, you know, third third race in, field seems, uh, you know, the field is entirely, you know, close, um, you know, for the Australian Grand Prix, so, you know, anything can happen, and we've seen it at, at you know, Australia, even, you know, as far back as last year, but... I look at it from this other perspective, because I've seen a lot of people online saying, you know, yeah, this makes sense, you know, Logan needs to shut up and just, you know, just take this and, you know, it's the right decision, but I, wanna, I want everybody to look at it from this perspective, and I don't think any really, anybody's really brought this up. Let's, let's, let's take Alexander Albon and Logan Sargent out of the situation. Let's Let's take any other any other team and any other two drivers um, and put them in this situation. Let's say Mercedes has this happen. Mercedes, uh, you know, let's say George Russell has an accident in Australia in free practice three. And, you know, 
damages the car beyond repair. They don't have any extra parts. They don't have any of the, you know, the updates for the car. And so they make the decision to sit Lewis Hamilton for the race. And they put George Russell in the car knowing that he has a better chance at scoring points. I think his Formula One fans and Lewis Hamilton fans were, they are losing their absolute minds. And so I feel like, you know, if you were to put any of these other teams in the same situation and you were basically having them, you know, have the same situation as Williams, I think we'd all be pretty upset that, you know, they're sitting a driver that didn't cause the problem and didn't, you know, put their team in this situation. Um, so I just, I find it unfair for Logan. I get it. I understand why Williams is doing it. It just doesn't make it fair. I think if anything, Logan should have been able to race the weekend. Um, he obviously showed that he wasn't going to wreck the car. Um, and so I feel like he should have been able to been given the chance um, to potentially race uh, this weekend in Australia. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Um, like I said, this is a, this is a really crappy situation for Williams and for Logan Sargent. And Alex is, you know, just a mere bystander in all this as well. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below uh, about Williams' decision to let out... Alex race this weekend and bench Logan Sargent. Um, let me know that in the comment section down below. Guys, as always, slap a like on these videos for more Formula One videos um, and to push this video out to more Formula One fans. And guys, please hit that subscribe button if you guys are new for more daily and weekly Formula One content. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And guys, full the American F1 fan, I'm Eric Ringle, signing off.